being a black folks, and basically, don't go for advertising, but since Subaru does have the telescopes over there, uh, basically, they they get, because we, they basically are smart, they keep their advertising there, they know people come look at this, study, and there is our, you're going to be able to see it just like this, when I blew it up before, just made it so small, because then I'd have to go back in just like I'm doing now, because it refreshes, and you will notice the time over there in Hawaii is uh, 12, and this is like a, I think, whatever minute, yeah, it's a three hour, it's going to go from, or just whatever time, does it go to the 1300 hour? I think it starts at the 1300 or ends at the 1300 hour, so, but you can see the movement if you're sitting there watching, and forget this, this is the dome. This is actually the dome. It's not the excuse that they use down there at Nehemiah, okay? That is actually the dome there. And then that's the material rotating around that triangulation star cluster there in the sky right now. Now, let me go ahead and go to two photos. I should be able to bring up the constellation map for you here that you look up NGC 2264. And now that's just that there, okay? There's a cluster up there. There is our Proxima Centauri, or whatever, one of the supergiants, or more than one sun in the supergiant that is starting to penetrate Earth in the early AM hours of like 9 something Hawaii time, 9 to 10 o'clock at night. And then you get all this action. And this is all your star constellations when they took this shot. They didn't give us the shot time down in the corner. So, this in Gemini is what's been given is this. Okay. So you need to look up that star. Because it's in the constellation of Gemini. has been given us that object there. Okay. But this is the supergiants here. Okay. Proxima Centauri. Rigel Cantaris B, Rigel Cantaris A, okay, it's not the sun. And then, uh, more than likely this, in between Canis Major and that. And this basically gives the illumination of what I believe the Christmas tree would be considered that top star action, like the star on top of the Christmas tree. The NGC 264. 2264, right there. Okay. Uh, and then the constellation of Monoceros. Something to do with that constellation between there and there, but obviously, possibly. Because you have all those elements involved between the supergiants, Oxymi Centauri, Michael Cantaris B, Michael Cantaris. A and whatever else is in front of the sun, high or low, and coming up early in the evening, early late evening, and 1, 2 a.m. Like 200 hours, something like that. Why? And also down in Antarctica, because everything, the sun and everything, we rotate east and everything comes up below. Earth. The sun is closest to us July 4th, uh, it's farthest away the last couple of weeks or so, end of December and stuff like that, it's the farthest away. Right now we're still the farthest away from the sun, but we are at the all-time human recorded closeness to the sun right now, okay? So that's why it's hardly any snow anywhere and so forth and so on, okay? Because we're at a record all-time recorded we are matching that right now, and we might even actually get closer than the all-time recorded ever known time. Who knows? But the sun is in the supergiant, so we'll find out. Here's the next rise on that 2264, okay? I'll give you some more data here in a second, I'll roll up. Also, some of the objects of the supergiants that are nearby sky objects is brighter than the second magnitude. That means they're hella bright. So that's the other, that's basically the other stuff in the supergiants. These are all supergiants here, and that is what is lighting up along with Proxima Centauri, Rigel Cantaris B. That's what lights up 2264 and our other op in this constellation map and so forth and so on. Now here's a constellation map. 
that basically is probably we there could be a possibility that we're getting Jupiter that is making it look like the meatball. But since we have basically busted the theory of the flare because we see it here on Earth and what we've seen in space and it's not like the flares that we see that basically I'm calling them C -E CME reactive flares. Okay, everything we see on H1, H2, and on SOHO 2 and 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4, anything on any of the SOHO satellites, they give us such an accurate shot that I am calling them CME reaction flares because there is something with the atmospheres of those planets that puts a flare off. And yes, we do know that Venus, I believe, and the others, uh, Saturn, we know, I think that there's NASA history of showing that there's moons that have volcanoes that are around Saturn, okay? But that was Venus that did that, okay? And we've also seen it from Jupiter. So I'm calling them CME, reactive flares, not inner uh, optical or lens flares, okay? It's totally different than the perfectly roundness that we see just like a planet. It's probably the meatball because it's when we're at the backdoor darkness in Hawaii, okay? Because it's being seen and it rises and falls, okay? And it doesn't rise and fall at the same time as Jupiter. So anybody that wants to stand on that, that meatball that we're seeing over there on Hawaii Cam is Jupiter, you better start getting some weight on you, okay? I won't, I'll, hey, it was Jupiter, if, as long as you can got weight to prove it, but no one has told me that it's Jupiter yet, okay? So, we know for sure that it's the supergiants in Rigel, Cantaris, B and A, Proxima Centauri out in front, and whatever else has moved in front of the sun, and you can watch my last video for other stuff that's been around the sun, that huge brick with a planet on top of it that we seen the other night, okay? So watch that last video before this one. Okay, the longitude and latitude at the Great Pyramid, the big one, okay? In the Valley of the Sun or, or Valley of the whatever they want to call over there in, in Egypt or whatever, the pyramids, okay? Uh, the Pharaoh's, you know, alley, funeral possession, whatever the hell you want to call it with all the pyramids are out, okay? That one pyramid has that northern latitude, okay? So at one time or other, so damn far back in astronomy, that is the exact speed miles a second in a vacuum in, that you can travel in space, okay? And then that is how you come up with your road map. I'll show you the road map to go to. And basically, it is no secret. You can go around and find it on the Internet. You want to go to Mars? You got a rocket? Here's how you do it. Now, what they do have is they have the secret of the thrust speed, okay? But other countries, with their spies or whatever, or their scientists have figured it out, or whether the U.S. Uh, Jet Propulsion Lab, someone got the information out, someone's figured it out, because it doesn't really matter, they throw it on the Internet, okay? These are your possible routes. That's how, if you're going to leave Earth and go up into anywhere, you've got to go in this direction, okay? If you're going to leave Earth, you go there. If you're coming back, you go there. When the SOHO satellites go up to the sun, they got to go straight away to the sun, okay? And then deploy on whatever secret, and more than likely, they have this for a roadmap right and left. And they've had to take it off at different times in order to be able to get in their orbits out there, which they probably use phobes in Deimos as their routes. So more than likely, I'm just taking an educated guess on this, the idea that A and B, A's here or B's there, one either or. That's where they pretty much have to stay somewhere in this orbit, back and forth all the time, back and forth here all the time to get the views of the sun front and back, okay? That's how you'd get to Mars if you had to. And that's your, with your speed of, uh, in a vacuum that I showed you basically right there, you'd have to calculate that and do your proportional integral derivatives, and then you can put a rock in anybody's ass or on the moon. That's how it go and that's how it works. So somebody give me a good argument for that being Jupiter the, on the meatball, but I haven't anybody had enough balls to say that yet. As far as I know, every big astronomer and stuff like that so far knows that that's the meatball and knows that they've known about it for years. And basically, I'm going to go to a worldwide telescope and end up seeing if I can get a projection, and I also should be able to dig it up in my old photos of that. So we'll see what we come up with on that. So remember that this is what's given you the, that's NGC 2264, 
is what is given you there's a picture of it a long time ago and let me show you what it's given you most of the time with the super giants lights coming up here and reflecting to earth in the early late evening 2200 hour in Hawaii is right there is where that constellation is clusters at and then it gives you this Christmas tree right here okay it's directly in line you can't miss it bam it shoots down gives you that okay and also shooting up these here give you this through Monoceros on Saros and the lower star in Gemini reflection bang 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 and then that's how we get the stuff on a volcano action in earthquakes and, and let me show you volcanoes today with the new shots showing you the terra hydrants that I call them because they're dark and they hit earth and I also caught it hitting the volcanoes today and this is the sun caught today now what I'll do is you see the difference between the sun signature you see all this in between okay so now let me give you the signature of what you have coming up in the evening all the time it's a totally different signature you see the different signature okay so you know that this is the supergiants and Rigel Cantaris B and A Proxima Centauri because it's a total different signature, okay? It's not the sun. So go watch the video before this one and then more later tonight or tomorrow or Monday. And uh, we'll have more of the volcano shots. Right now I'm in a hurry. Got to go do some stuff. And we will get you the shots from the volcano today. They'll have today's date and you'll know what it is. Pretty much go back to the last two videos and watch what is going on on the Japanese volcano. And then you will believe a thousand percent of the Hawaii stuff because they are USGS shots and if you want to know where their addresses are at go look at them. The terahydrons, tetrahydrons are there and they're making that volcano wake up in Hawaii big time right now. Alright, later. More out. Reno Black. Talk to you later.